Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss model based reflex agents in artificial intelligence with the help of a simple example. There are mainly four types of agents in artificial intelligence. The first one is a simple reflex agent, second one is model based reflex agent, third one is goal based, and fourth one is utility based agent. In the previous video, I have already discussed simple reflex agent. In this video, I will discuss model based reflex agent. Model based reflex agent is an extension of a simple reflex agent by incorporating the internal model of the environment. In the previous video, I have already discussed in detail about the simple reflex agent. Link for that video is given in the description below. In simple reflex agent, the decisions are made based on the current percept. For example, the sensors will sense the current environment. Based on the current percept, the percept will be searched in one of the condition. If there is a match, an associated action will be returned and that action will be executed with the help of actuators and then the sensor will sense the environment again, the same thing will be repeated again and again here. The simple reflex agent uh, don't remember the past information or they don't anticipate the future changes if an action is executed on the environment. This is the limitation of a simple reflex agent. In the model based reflex agent, uh, we can handle all the limitations of a simple reflex agent by maintaining the internal state of the model here. Now we will discuss uh, the working principle of uh, model based reflex agent. There are mainly five steps in model based reflex agent. The first one is known as the perception. So the agent perceives the current environment through the sensors. Again, the same thing what we did in uh, simple reflex agent. This information includes the current state of the environment such as uh, the obstacles, objects or other agents which are present in the environment. Once uh, the perception is done, the second step is modeling the environment. That is, uh, the model based reflex agent maintain the internal model which includes uh, the information about the current world like how the environment will look like and what are the actions we can take based on the current environment. And if we take that action, what may be the expected outcome? All those things will be stored in the form of internal model here. The third step of model based reflex agent is the decision making. Based on its current perceptual input that is received from the sensors and the internal model, whatever has been stored in the previous step, the agent selects an action which can be executed on the environment. Now, uh, in the fourth step, the action will be executed. So, whatever the action we have selected in the previous step, that will be executed with the help of the actuators on the current environment. Now, whenever we execute an action on the environment, the environment state will change from one to other here. In the fifth step, what we do is, because the state of the environment has changed, because we have executed an action, the model will be updated here. That is, the internal model will be updated. Before we execute the action, we have anticipated what can happen. So, once we execute, we will check whether the same thing has happened or not. If something else has happened, the internal model will be updated. So, if you go on updating the internal model based on what has happened after executing an action, the agent will learn from these experiences. In future, whenever sensor senses the current environment, that input will be searched in the internal model and based on the learned internal model, an action will be selected and that action will be executed on the environment. Again, when you execute that action, the environment will change from one state to other state. Based on that, again, the internal model will be updated and the same thing will be repeated again and again in this case. So, this is how the model based reflex agent works in artificial intelligence. Now, coming back to the strengths of uh, model based reflex agent, they can handle partially observable environments. In a simple reflex agent, we expect the environment to be fully observable. If you have a partially observable environment, we cannot use simple reflex agent. But the model based reflex agent works with both partially as well as fully observable environments. Model based agents are more flexible because they maintain an internal model. They don't depend on only the condition action rules. They maintain the internal model where they will maintain 
how the environment evolves as well as what are the action it has taken and if it has taken a particular action how the environment has changed all those things will be saved in internal model because of that it is more flexible here coming back to the weaknesses there is an increased level of complexity uh, compared to simple reflex agent uh, the implementation of uh, model based reflex agent is definitely complex the agent's performance relies heavily on the internal model that is how it has learned over a period of time and uh, there is an issue of uh, limited learning uh, we cannot uh, say whether the agent has learned over a period of time by the experiences because there is no uh, measurement for such kind of thing so there is an issue of uh, limited learning in this case so in this video i have discussed what is model based reflex agent in artificial intelligence and what is the working principle of uh, model based reflex agent as well as strengths and weaknesses i hope the concept of uh, model based reflex agent is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching